when I was in fifth grade, I had watched a movie about card counting and blackjack. And I swore I would I wanted to do that for a living when I grew up. So I had downloaded a computer program to practice doing it. And um, at the time, a lot of casinos had smaller games that had two, four decks of cards. And it was still feasible. So I downloaded a program to practice it. And um, I uh, obviously, I uh, tried to... Uh, uh, test myself, see if toward the end of the deck I was counting it right, and I would often be way, way off. Now I distinctly remember if you would lose a bet, the computer would say, dealer wins, really loudly. And it was very upsetting, and it was often shocking if I got the count wrong. And so dealer wins became a little bit of a curse. You know, I would, um, when I would be upset, I would march around the house going, dealer wins, dealer wins. And to this day, I can still remember the way the computer says dealer wins. It's a sharp sound. It comes unexpectedly. It's an upsetting sound. The other day, I was um, I, I make a bismuth art, as you guys saw in my other videos. And I got a good price selling one of them. And when I collected the money from the buyer, in my mind, I said, dealer wins. And um, it's, it's just become a... a, a, a uh, uh, a curse word that means taking money from somebody basically because I remember the computer would show a hand coming out to grab your bet saying dealer wins and I can still remember it I have a photographic memory even though I haven't played with that program for it's getting close to well 20 25 years now I can still remember it like it was just five minutes ago it was USA casino that I was using if I remember correctly I still remember the theme song from the from the program now, where this really hurts me is that I have a very good photographic memory of anything upsetting that I run into. So, I was working at a tutoring center last year when I had a boss who was um, uh, very uh, prejudiced against uh, different uh, racial backgrounds and sexuality. And he had, uh, he had a few students who had canceled during uh, Thanksgiving Eve. But he scheduled me for four hours, and then he asked me to leave two hours into the session, and then he didn't pay me for that. And I'm thinking to myself, gee, I, I could have left on vacation early had I known that you didn't have these hours, and you're still not going to pay me for it. That's what I was thinking. And today, a year and a half later, I can still distinctly remember the way he told me that I could go. So that, that's where it really hurts. That's like God telling me, dealer wins.